This is a production of Cornell University. scrap paper or, um, and it can be anything. It can be uh, chewed up newspaper, it can be recycled paper from an art project. Um, I like to use business reply mail pieces that I tear out of magazines. If you want it colored, then some scrap paper from a construction project. It's amazing how much color there is in little bit of this. Um, whatever color you use, by the way, it will come out a couple of shades lighter in the finished product. You need a tub with water that's big enough to get your frame into. Um, you need uh, your frame. No, they call this a decal. <laughs> you need, uh, actually, you're going to need several frames. Now, you can either get a purchased frame or you can very simply make one out of pieces of, of uh, scrap wood. This one is just nailed, with one na glued and nailed on the ends, a very simple thing to do. Um, and then we take a piece of screen, uh, try to get metal screen if you possibly can because the nylon screen stretches. Get a piece of screen that big enough so that it, it not only covers this area, but it goes down the edges because then it won't pull out and stretch. And when I tack these, I actually tack them on the ends, on the sides. And then I cover the whole thing with duct tape so that the staples or the nails, so that the staples actually work better. So you, you have your deckle and you have your mold. And when you're actually making paper, the paper is going to form on the top of the screen. So you're going to make a sandwich like this. Okay, so you can see that while it's dry. With the screen is actually in between those two frames. Now comes the noisy part. When you get a blender, um, Get one at a garage sale or the Salvation Army. Get a used blender. Don't use your mom's favorite brand new kitchen blender because um, paper contains dioxin. There is no way that you can safely get this clean and use this again for any kind of food. I'm going to fill this about a little over half, two thirds full. I'm going to take my scrap paper and only put a handful, don't pack it tightly <laughs> um, or it won't grind well. Okay, noisy part. Anyway, what I've done is I've taken recycled um, paper, which was originally some kind of wood or cotton pulp probably, um, and reground it. Um, this pulp that's in here, when it's mixed like this, it's called slurry. And just like, you know, the, the slurry shakes that are popular now, this is a, this is a slurry, it's a, a mixture. I'm going to put, a, do a little bit more, but you definitely don't want to do it in a much bigger batch than this, because otherwise you're going to burn out, um, you're going to burn out the motor on your blender. Um, if the blender starts to smell like it's burning, uh, then you should probably stop. As you can see, I've left, I've left some flex in my slurry. I can still see some of the original pieces. You can grind it more, but I kind of like the texture. Um, it feels sort of like um, cream. If it feels like oatmeal, it's too thick. 
um, and so it, it should be about that thin. Okay. So I'm going to take my two pieces. I'm going to put the screen on the bottom. And I'm going to put this over it. And the motion is like panning for gold. And I'm going to lift these two up. And as you can see right now, I've got a mat of paper. Um, how much you uh, how much you leave on that determines the thickness of your paper. This one is going to be maybe a little thicker than construction paper. When I'm done. Okay. Now the instructions say um, one decal and one mold. But what I like to do is I like to make an extra screen piece because I'm going to take the extra screen piece and put it on top like that and I have a double screen sandwich. And I'm going to squeeze the water right back in. I'm not wasting water either. Um, now if I have a, a friend working with me, they can also help hold this thing. But if I put a sponge on either side of it, I can, I can actually blot this and get it pretty dry. Okay. So my paper is starting to form now. If I lift this up carefully. Now if at this point it sticks and it messes up, it's really easy. You can just put it right back in. Um, uh, if you don't like that lump, uh, actually that will uh, that will come out. But at this point I have a, uh, a pretty nice map of uh, what will be paper. 